Hey friends, welcome to Bitfilm again. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. So, firstly, in this episode, we are going to learn about the eloquent relationships. Eloquent relationships are very important. When you have many tables, you want your data from each and every table for a specific condition. Okay, for that, we will just learn about the one-to-one -one relationship. For that, I have to open my command prompt. I have to go to my folder where I have installed my Laravel 5.4. Okay, and I will start my server and my server is started. Okay, so, but for other commands, I have to open my command prompt in another window. Okay. So you can also read these documentations provided by the Laravel, but these are as usual, not very descriptive. So what's the problem? Because I'm here to help you. So imagine if you have two tables, that means user table and passport table. Obviously each user has only one passport so only one passport number so in this case our one-to-one -one relationship deals okay so let's demonstrate all these for that obviously we need a passport table and a user table i'm using here xamp php my admin which provides me this database structure i can i can design table from here but as we are on the level we have artisan to help us so here also I have to go to that folder firstly so i will just type php artisan migration before migration i have to type make migration and what migration that means create user table and the table name create which users see here i am tapping users because laravel tells you that you have to make your table names plural okay now i have created this just hit enter and similarly for passport so i will type here passports and create passport table you can also type passports it's not important the important thing is here passports so the migration is created and what is migration actually the migration is just schemas or you can simply say these are the code written in php which tells the laravel to how to design your table okay so you can see here this is create user table this is the migration created from here okay in this table we want to have a id field a timestamp that means created at and updated at also here we want to have a field which is name and which is a string so this is the user the simplest user ever okay and in the passport we want number that means passport number it will be integer and it will also unsigned that means it never been negative and after that to connect this with our user that means user id because i want passport number to assign with a user okay so i have designed my table here and also here just make this table but how will i make so here is our friend php artisan php artisan and migrate and you hit enter and there migrated that means created that means table is created so how will i know my table is created you can just see here in the database just refresh and here is the tables easy okay but for that but for going forward we need the data inside the table so i will type php artisan tinker and you can also put data from here but i want this to be friendly so db table table is table table and table name is users then just insert insert what insert name and name is my name sarthak and obviously created at when will it created created at today 
that means new date time and after that update it at and also the same thing when i hit enter let's see if there is no error yes now let's create an another user so that we can differentiate so this will be my another name that means ankur and it's true so how will i ensure that data is inserted you can see here data is inserted or here you can just type app slash user and all but wait there's error why because i have not created any model you can see here there is no model so just go out of the stinker and create a model so make model and model name is singular user okay then hit enter and just create a model for passport also so passport and now go to tinker hey tinker come back yes tinker is back just checked okay so the data is here we just dumped the data inside our passports table inserting number number is let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine and there is also a field which is named as user underscore id and that id is let's say one and hit enter and it's true and just create another by typing something different and yes and for that i will just type passport and all yeah here is also the data now comes the relationship part we have two tables and the two tables are related to each other okay you can see here now for one to one relationship you will go i will just clean it all you will go to that user model and as i told you one single user has only single passport so for that just create a function name passport you can also name anything you want but it is descriptive passport so return this has one has one what has one passport class and this will not be there okay so what is this this is just equivalent to typing this i like this okay so next how will i ensure that relationship is made okay for that again php artisan tinker tinker what we have to do hey tinker just go to user table and find user with id 1 and give me back all that id okay so id 1 is name is sarthak but i want the passport number so i will just type here passport but not this only just passport because we have made a function name passport only so just type passport and hit enter and it will provide null why because tinker does not know that you have made change in your model so just go out of tinker return back to tinker and hey tinker just remember that thing and give me all that thing so here you can find id is one number is this user id is this so you got the passport detail for user one okay just type that for user 2 also okay it's good we get the idea but one thing more you can see here in the documentation there is a relationship that is called inverse relation one to one inverse relationship and what is that inverse relationship that means this passport also belong to some user and it is also one so in this case what will i do i will type user and I will type similarly return this and I will say here belongs to belongs to again user class okay so the same thing but in inverse case 
I want user with passport of ID 1. So again it will give me null. Why? Because same thing the Tinker does not know about this. So go back to Tinker and come back. Hey Tinker, remember the all these things. Give me the result. So I got the user with the passport ID of 1. Okay. So let's just see all these things in our real life. That means in our controller. So I will just close all these things and I will open my controller by going to HTTP controller home controller. Here is my controller. So here is I have written use app slash user. Okay. And we will use this by typing here user is equal to user find one that means the user with id one find that okay let's just return and check the result and i will comment this and when i go there refresh and i will see this json array okay that's good that means our query is working fine okay let's just pass this array by tapping compact and the variable name now i will go to my view that means welcome dot dot php and i want to echo this user and the name of the user so when i refresh it will say welcome circle but nothing new so the new is when i go here and i will type passport and just see the result return user comment this refresh and it will return nothing why because passport spelling wrong okay now when i go here and refresh i will get the same thing as we get on the tinker so let's just comment this and uncomment this and we will here and now the user array does not contain this name field so what it contain it contain number field so i will copy this and paste here and when i refresh we will get welcome one two three five nine that related to user one because i have typed here one so you have seen here that has one is very uncommon and but it has some use so so come to the next part and we will know about the next relationship that is has many and if you have any doubt please comment below and if you have any question then you can feel free to ask me and do subscribe if you have not subscribed yet please sure to subscribe and i want to thank you rohan for requesting for the eloquent relationship so that i have made this video for you rohan and thank you and like rohan if you want to learn something you can just comment me and i will make a video only for you guys so thank you very much and bye bye